In this lesson, you will learn about the review of over-the-counter OTC drugs in Japan. First of all, why does Japan promote self-medication? 1. Japan has an ultra-aging society with a declining birth rate. Accordingly, the burden on Social Security is increasing. 2. To protect universal health coverage, with limited financial revenue, self-medication is promoted as one of the solutions. 3. That means when self-medication covers minor illness treatment to prevent disease progression, more capital can be leveraged for 4. Severe illness treatment, such as prescription drug use in a clinic and hospital. This ensures all patients can access the medical care they need. In Japan, OTC drugs are defined as drugs other than prescription drugs. 2. OTC drugs are intended for use at the discretion of general consumers. They can be purchased directly in a pharmacy or a drugstore without a prescription. Here are characteristics required for OTC drugs. 1. They should assure quality, efficacy, and safety. 2. They should provide the necessary information for customers to choose appropriate drugs at their own discretion. 3. They should be designed to meet people's lifestyle and health needs. 4. They should meet the latest standards in the field of medical and pharmaceutical sciences. In order to achieve this, reviewing processes and regulations are important. This slide explains how to decide the application category. For the application product, are there new active ingredients, routes of administration, indications, form, or dosage and administration compared to all drugs? If the answer is yes, the application category of the product will fall in the range of 1 to 3, depending on what's new. If the answer is no, are there new active ingredients, routes of administration, indication, form, dosage and administration, or combination compared to any approved OTC drugs. 3. If the answer is yes, the application category will fall in the range of 4 to 6, depending on what's new. 4. If the answer is no, is the product different from approved OTC drugs? 5. If the answer is yes, the application category will be 7. 6. And if the answer is no, the category will be 8. PMDA categorizes 1 to 6 as 7 new OTC drugs and 7 and 8 as 8 other OTC drugs. This table indicates data requirements for OTC drug applications. The data requirements depend on the application category. 1. Data requirements for application categories 1, 4, and 8 are shown here. As you can see, the newer the application is, the more requirements there are. This slide shows an outline of our review process and conformity audit for new OTC drugs. 1. When a new OTC drug application is submitted to MHLW, in addition to our review, 2. PMDA consults outside experts about whether this product is suitable as an OTC drug, taking these experts' opinions into consideration. PMDA judges carefully whether it should be approved or not. If the product is suitable as an OTC drug, 3. PMDA 
reports the review results to MHLW. 4. MHLW consults the Pharmaceutical Affairs and Food Sanitation Council about whether it should be approved or not. If there are no problems, 5. The product is approved by MHLW. The review process for other OTC drugs, like generic drugs, is shown here. There are no expert consultations, conformity audits, or consultations with MHLW. PMDA mainly confirms one, equivalency, to already approved OTC drugs. The review process is generally shorter than that of new OTC drugs. Reviewing OTC drugs, PMDA considers whether the product is appropriate for an OTC drug. To approve products under this concept, PMDA generally must confirm 1. Whether the active ingredients are effective and safe. 2. Whether indications are widely experienced symptoms or disorders that are readily recognizable by consumers. 3. And whether dosage, administration, and formulation are easy, safe, and capable of preventing misuse and abuse. 4. Here's a question. Which indication do you think is appropriate for OTC drugs? 1. Diabetes. 2. Seasonal allergic rhinitis. 5. The answer is 2. Seasonal allergic rhinitis, according to the criteria for indications. 6. Here's another question. Which dosage and administration do you think are appropriate for OTC drugs? 1. Doses 2 mg per day, once daily. 2. Dose may be increased or decreased according to the symptom. 7. The answer is 1, 2 mg per day, once daily, according to the criteria for dosage and administration. In categories 7 and 8, PMDA mainly confirms equivalency with already approved OTC drugs, so most data can be omitted. The equivalency points are aspects such as active ingredients, quantity, indication, dosage and form, specifications, and so on. PMDA checks whether 1. Active ingredients, quantity, 2. Indication and other factors are equivalent to approved OTC drugs. For certain OTC drugs, which have been used for a long time and are considered effective and safe, approval standards were established. 1. The approval standards cover several kinds of drugs, such as treatments for the common cold, analgesics, expectorants, digestive medicines, eye drops, athlete's foot treatments, rhinitis medicines, vitamins, Chinese traditional medicine products, and crude drug products. 2. The approval authority of the drug categories corresponding to these approval standards was transferred from the Minister of Health, Labor and Welfare to the Governor of each prefecture. Application category, review process, and approval standards help review large numbers of applications effectively.